23 minutes gone. Low scoring quarter. Ashman. Dean. Strawn. Francis. Well tackled. Push in the back against Palm. I thought it was going to be against Ashman for a latter infringement. But it goes to Corkamelis on the half forward line for the Blues. Corkamelis short. Not good enough. Wayne Johnston in trouble. Oh, down they're going. That was a nasty one. Rod Ashman, who's taken so many heavy blows, takes another one and takes it beautifully as he does so often. And this is one of the courageous men of league football, number 14. He's been a perpetual bridesmaid at Carlton, second in the best and fairest to Ken Hunter by one vote a couple of years ago. Third last year, or no, second last year again. Shoots for goal, does Rodney. What a fine kick. What an excellent kick. Well done. And this is too early to say, but my word, it's a, it's a first quarter that will have an enormous significance on the game. Now five minutes into the second quarter, Richmond Bains still to kick Lee. a goal. Carlton leading by 35 points. Lee wins. Hunter. Francis takes a good mark. Had a shaky start. A couple of goals kicked against him early by Oja, the first two of the match. Pull and half back. Too far for Eustace. Jess having a shocker. Eustace. Read it well. Foley. Oh, Silvani. Outstanding. Well, that made Dad proud. That would really make Father proud. That was a wonderful tumbling effort, full of courage and full of skill. Road punches down in front, and the free kick goes Richmond's way. Play on, says the umpire. Out it comes. Kick by Walsh. Walsh, long, straight and true. It's true. Right on the line. And Richmond, who hit the post once, and Stephen Jane missed an easy one. Six and a half minutes gone. Still the Blues by 29, but Lee, big thump. Johnston. Back to the centre. McKenna and Ashman. Looking like a couple of bikies. Sheldon. Madden's there. Hard to mark. Murphy timed it well. Ran at the ball and uh, got it just as it fell out of the big men's hands. But then spilt. Yes, he timed it beautifully, Timmy. He kept on. If he hadn't fumbled, it would have been most spectacular. Roving close to the pack. Umpire Clayton high in the air. Lee front position very cleverly. Oh, play to Ashman. Ashman steadies and kicks for goal, but the kick is smothered. Out wide and Francis. Into the line he goes, or over the line he goes. That was a very lightning hand pass from Blackwell to Ashman. Out of bounds. So quick. Mm, I didn't see beautiful. it. it looked beautiful. like a throw. Madden and Lee again. Empire rules there was a push. 15 metres too against Madden. That sort of thing has been reported during this season. This time it's not. If the umpire thought it was intentional. And one of the other things that Bill Diller highlighted, wasn't it? That, that was particularly one that was reportable. Here comes the big man. He's not big beside the man in the mark beside him. That's six foot nine of Justin Madden in front and near. Punched away brilliantly by Alvin. Kicked off the ground by Glascott. Out to the boundary line it goes. Half forward flank. Carlton in attack and Carlton leading. 37 points to eight. And even though the Tigers have pegged back a goal in this quarter, Carlton still playing much the better. Madden and Lee. Madden climbing this time. McKenna. Back to the centre line. Ania. But carried it over the line before getting the kick away. And so the ball comes back, much to John Ania's frustration. It's just a little Richmond side of centre wing. As Lee gets it down once again and then goes down himself. Landy's on top of Sheldon. Sheldon in the centre after a fine game in the centre against the Swans. Lee up high. Well played, Rioli. Out it goes to Francis. Francis then very long down towards half forward flank. Pickering goes up. So does Foley. And it's Carlton all the time. Glasgow this time. 
can't find anybody to kick to, so he kicks it very wide. And James Jess has got the lead, but well kicked, Lascott. He really kicked it very strongly. And it's over the line, out of bounds, and Jess has been taken off. James coming on to replace James Jess. Baines to Ashman was fine ruck work. Paul beat Blackwell comprehensively then. And wins the free. Half a lead from Foley. Waitman getting among the goals recently, especially last Tuesday night. Now he goes for them and dobs it. Lee went far too early. Ashman, as usual, on top of it fighting, but so is Blackwell, so is Lee. Blackwell, very much an endeavour player. By Kevin Smith holding it like a fried egg. Up goes Lee again. Tries to bar through, kicks it off the ground, which is good for Paul. Eustace. Taps it, does it very well. Lost it, recovers. Good play, Eustace. Hits it down to where Reed's in front. Beaten by Foley, or frustrated by Foley. But good football once again by young Sir Stephen Silvani. Having a pretty good day in his second senior game. Road, Meldrum, straight to Anir. The mark's paid. Lead from Pickering. Here comes Harms. Just got the spoil. Waitman again. Ever dangerous. And... Oh, Eustace couldn't quite hold it. Should have done. And Reed finds the boundary line. Carlton off the hook. Oh, that was close. So close. And a very clever piece of football by Waitman. Baines comes in to do battle. Well played, Landy, over the top of both of them. It's over the line, I thought. It was over the line. It'll be thrown in. Tigers Cup. looking better, Doug. Yes, They're getting back into it. It's getting back into it. 14 points to the Tigers. 37 to Carlton. Landy again, the wild leaper. And there'll have to be another ball up. Nicely picked up by Eustace. A left foot across the face of goal. An opportunity in front there for James. In lots of trouble. Looks for a free kick. He was legged. Silvani said, I didn't do it, umpire. Please, please, please. And umpire Clayton says, no, you did, young Stephen. And the free kick goes to James. Well, Stephen James, who missed a goal that he normally wouldn't miss in the first term. Silvani's only about 35 yards out as he stands on the mark. James kicks for goal and kicks it well. Richmond's third and the match is alive again. 19 minutes into the third quarter and the margin Madden. 15 points in Out favour of the James. Blues. James hooks a left footer across in front. It's all Carlton. And here comes Ken Hunter. From good play by Sheldon. Hunter's caught. Gives it back to Sheldon. Sheldon left foot it. Doesn't do it very well but Glasgow's there. Tackle by Poole. Breaks the tackle brilliantly. Steadies and short passes. Great play. Wayne Johnson hugs a chest mark, was pushed in the, mark, uh, in the back, and Carlton looking pretty good in this third term. Inside to Ashman. Ball still a long way from scoring territory. Another centering kick finds Blackwell. Still much too far out. Here's a good lead and a good pass. Peter Dean rewarded with a kick for that tackle a moment ago. And I must hark back on that because he chased Lee. I think he chased another player and he kept on running from full back and finally got his man a near almost in the middle of the ground. Now he lines up from 35 metres out. Oh, they don't come much closer. Carlton kicking plenty of behinds. Well, James Jess is back on the ground. And drives it out looking for Lee. It's a beautiful kick and a good lead by Lee. That's a second good tumbling. Whoops, he shouldn't do that. Second good tumbling mark he's done. Then he drives it across in front McKenna. Had a pretty torrid day as Michael McKenna. 
Oh, what a bad kick. Lascott, short pass. Here it goes. Dean deserves a goal this quarter and misses it. Two posters. And he's played so well as Dean. He really deserves a goal. But that was a very, very bad miss. Made worse by the fact that McKenna was making no ground and he could have run all the way in. Tiger's chance now. Anir gets the call from Landy. Who chips to the centre, Korkamilis. Waitman. James and Silvani, many one out battles. Silvani well to Harms. Both with good bloodlines, those two. Road, call from Alvin. Chip pass, puts it out in front of the long haired Alvin. Too far in front. First there, Strawn. Pressured though, and forced into error out on the full. Yes, Alvin, uh, Alvin is just ferociously courageous. And the free kick goes to Road, who's playing a good third term, and a fine one to Alvin. Alvin now on the centre wing position. Stadish and sends it long to the pocket in front. Well done, Ogia. Oh, gee, he's looked good too. He and Peter Dean have done a lot of nice things. Ogier's long kick to the 10 metre square. Up go, oh Madden! Madden, a long, long man, six foot nine of him, 206 centimetres. And Jim Jess from behind looked like a wingman as he strove to thwart that mark. And Justin Madden has played a very, very serviceable game. He's delighted, the big fella. So it's Carlton by nearly four goals, having a good third quarter. Free kick to Baines. Lee, a frustrated looking Richmond skipper. Baines just back. Johnston, but how will it bounce? Beautifully. Blues look dangerous. Flying shot by Road, just offline. Ashman was pursuing it. There's Rioli coming off again. Strawn kicks the ball to himself. The umpire says, no, go back and do something about it. The umpire hadn't placed flag back in receptacle. Short pass to Strawn, dangerous, very dangerous. The safe hands of Hunter. Hunter will shoot for goal. And Hunter puts it through. And even the phlegmatic and quiet Ken Hunter will be pretty thrilled about that. Five goals to nil in the first quarter virtually set it up for the Blues. They led by 34 points at the first change, 31 at three-quarter time. Richmond got to within 11 points in the last quarter, but Carlton steadied and won by 17 points. Murphy and Ashman each three goals, Ogier two, and for Richmond, James and Palm each kicked two goals.